Hey Switchheads, Kanan here and welcome to my review of What Comes After, a kind of story based emotional roller coaster. Before we get started, why not hit that link down below and join our community Discord to join in all the streaming fun, or just to come for a chat. And in the meantime, let's see if What Comes After manages to get onto the Wall of Fame or the Wall of Shame or maybe somewhere in between. Gameplay. Now I'm going to be totally honest about what comes after, and that is it's a short game, do not go anywhere, and it's more of a experience than actual game. Please don't go anywhere. Because if you do, you're going to miss out on something truly special. Yes, it's not a game. Yes, it's very short. But at the end of the day, it's an experience that I am so glad I actually got to try. To cut a long story short and also not to spoil the story, you are VV and like everybody in this world you have your own problems. But you end up on a kind of train full of souls on their way to the afterlife. And basically you go around talking to these people and souls and finding out information about themselves and and ultimately about yourself. Now I firmly believe that this story will be different for everyone. Not in the way it's presented and what actually happens in it, but I firmly believe that my experience and what I took from the actual experience is going to be different from what many other people are going to experience and take from it. It is ultimately quite a heartwarming story and I don't normally get emotional whilst playing games or reading books but I actually found myself sort of like welling up whilst um, experiencing this game. From absolute start to finish the game had gripped me, there was things that I didn't really expect and as you progress through the train there were quite a few different surprises as you actually carried on. The game ultimately at the end left me wanting more and there was kind of like a feeling that they could have actually done more with the game but it was wrapped up in a nice little way and it wasn't really disappointing except for the fact that I really did want more of it. And that's not to say that I felt ripped off because of the cost, it's more a I actually wanted more of it as it gripped me that much. I think the only real annoyance that I really had with the experience was the dialogue noise that came up when someone spoke or anything. For me it was really annoying, luckily enough you can turn that off or down or whatever you want and just have the background noises which is exactly what I did. I also want to mention the fact that it wasn't just all doom and gloom, there were some humorous parts in it as well, it wasn't just all sad, there was parts to the story that made me smile and sometimes chuckle to myself. Graphically this is actually quite a nice look, it's got quite a nice feel to it and it kind of matches the whole experience really. The sound is very minimalistic, there isn't really much there but what is there is pretty good apart from those speech bits that I was not a great fan of. The good, well the way it actually makes you feel is just something that needs to be experienced. It's a very well written story, in fact so much so I'm going to play it or experience it again and speak to everybody that I can this time. The bad. That sound thing when people speak was really annoying as I said I turned it down and it kind of makes me sad that this is so well written that some people aren't going to experience it because I think some people are going to snub it pushing it aside as something they don't like or they don't want to experience or it's just rubbish because there's not much to it or it's just not got guns or anything in it and I'd say that's a shame because those people are going to miss out on something truly truly well wonderful. The score Whilst this isn't obviously to me a 5 out of 5 game, I still find it very engaging and very good. It is short, but I'm still going to say it's a 4 out of 5 game because of how good and how much it made me feel, think and ponder on things close to me and close to my own heart. There is no alternative to this game because I don't know an alternative to this game, there just doesn't 
appear to be anything that I would count in its same like ilk. So feel free to comment down below on your own thoughts and pondering upon the game if you've bought it or come join us in our community discord where I will be completely happy to talk and go over different experiences that we may have actually had whilst playing this game. And you're also more than welcome to come and join our community streams that we have over there. Because life is better when we switch together.